Okay, today I want to teach you how we can save or how we can change an HTML and a CSS document to look like a website we want. First thing we do is we go to this site, opendesigns.org. And here when we go to browse or designs here, we'll come up to a bunch of free website templates. But we have to be very careful. Like this one, when we scroll over it, we can see it says Creative Commons. That's we don't want that one. That one, if we make our own website, we get sued um, because this one you have to have leave a link to the person who created it. But this one we can see is public domain. So we want to just browse through here till we find the template that we want. See Creative Commons? No, no Creative Commons until we find our uh, public domain one such as this public domain so I've already found the one that I like and now uh, I click download and I file that looks like this this is the template when we open it up we have an images folder the uh, the CSS or this is the style sheet that it, it makes the website look nice and then this is the HTML just the content so let's if we just double click on it it'll open it up in a browser to show you what it looks like that's the time that's the template that I've downloaded as you can see it looks dreadful I've actually gone through and made it look dreadful so I can just show you how to change it up to look nice so that's the template and then I've already done the changes so I'll show you what we're going to this is where we are this is what we're going to that's the site that I created from that template you can hopefully you can see how they're similar like here you can see these boxes are similar the nav bars in the same place can you kinda see how that's similar but obviously it looks like trash we want it to look nice like that I was actually thinking this would be a good website for our company I think it looks cool so um, now let's go in we see what what we have here uh, let's see what's in the images folder the images are just anything that you can't tell the computer just by code to look like for example this big picture here is definitely not uh, just coded in I didn't type those people there it's a picture I just told the picture to be there or this globe obviously that's a picture uh, you can see because of the texture in this nav bar that's a picture this background you can tell is a picture each the pink and the red is one picture that's just one picture and then we just told it to repeat a million times on the y axis sorry Adam. X X axis. Um, so here we can see all of those individual pictures. Like here is the navigation bar picture that shows on the web page right here. So that's basically what the images folder is. And so if we don't want our logo to be this globe anymore we'll just go in there and change the picture of a globe and put it as something else make a different one now this is the HTML so let's right click if we double click we'll get it in the browser see just on the internet let's right click and go open with and then go down to notepad so here in notepad this is what the website this is what I type to make the website look like that let me just show um, now let me this is just the content let's delete this line this is the line that links this page to the CSS page and let's delete it and say save so previously before I deleted that line this page and this page were linked together so this is the content and this is what it should look like so now if I were to double click this and open it in a browser we'll just see raw content instead of it looking nice 
So this is with no CSS. This is what the HTML would look like if there were no CSS to tell it to look nice. And then if we go back in, in Notepad, open with, whoops, come on, open with Notepad, and we put that line back in, and then click Save. So now they're hooked back up, the CSS and the HTML. Now when we double click it, we get it looking nice. So now you have an understanding of what the images are, what the CSS alone is, and then what the style sheet is. Let me just open the style sheet in Notepad so you can see what a style sheet will look like. Uh, let's go down to navigation. So this is saying on the navigation, let me close these real quick. This is saying when we click these links in here, it, they're going to be float left, they're going to be left aligned, um, starting with the first. It's saying they're going to be, the width is 790. So it's allowed to be, well, where is that, 790 pixels wide, these links. Uh, the color is 333, which is that blue color. Uh, margin, and then the background is white, but we put a picture on top of that so it's not white anymore. So you can see how this just tells each part of the web page, the navigation menu, um, left column, it tells every part of the web page individually what it should look like. And these are linked up to the HTML. When it has a pound navigation, that's saying this is an ID, that's what the pound means, navigation. So when we open up our HTML <clears throat> in Notepad, so this is just the HTML, it has a div called navigation. So when it says div is just a section of the page and then ID equals navigation that means go to the CSS and find out what this section of the page should look like. So now we've learned what um, HTML, CSS, and the images folder are. And in the next page we'll start editing the HTML and CSS to look like the eventual site that we want it to.